Hello guys, hello older people and younger people alike. Today I've got a fun and interesting topic about going back in time and telling uh, your younger self to take NMN. More importantly, what would you do if you were 30, 35, 40? Would you take NMN? Would you advise yourself to take NMN? I'm going to explore that question, explain my reasoning, give you a number, and hopefully help inspire some younger people to make a better decision. Why am I talking to younger people? This is an old folks channel. Well, not really. It turns out 20 25% of this channel's viewers, according to Google's analytics, are between the ages of 25 and 44. This surprised me. The numbers about a year ago, last time I looked at this, were like half that. So over time, as the channel's grown, we've cast a wider net, we're reaching younger viewers, and I have noticed more comments from younger viewers asking about NMN. I think it also has to do with the fact that NMN is showing better and better results, more and more definitive data, more and more positive human clinical trials, and now to have the pharmaceutical companies, or at least one, fighting over over control over NMN, I think it shows most of us, it signals most of us, hey, there's a mounting degree of evidence and support for NMN, and, uh, and I think that's inspiring younger people to take a close look. Now, I want to spell out some caveats. The age that I would take NMN, if I were able to, if it were available, if I could go in my time machine and bring back a, a case of it with me, the age that I would take NMN is probably younger than the age of most people, than the age that most people probably should. Now, I'm not advising anyone to take NMN at any age. I'm telling you my story. But in this video, I'm creating a story that if I were to go back and tell my younger self to take NMN, I'm going to pick an age that I think is lower than the mean. I think it's lower than the average age most people should take NMN, probably. And the reason for that is I had some specific health issues that I think NMN would have helped me with because they've helped me now with them. Um, I had anxiety attacks. I had severe allergies. Uh, I had headaches, all of which are gone. I had frequent colds and sinus infections, all of which are gone since I started taking NMN. I started taking NMN originally around age 55, which is probably a pretty good age to take it, looking at the current data and considering what's available and the cost of NMN, because you need to have that expendable income. Now, I ended up with a fake NMN for seven months, and we've educated people, and we're going to continue to educate people on how to avoid fake NMN. But... The good companies, Pro Health Longevities, the Do Not Ages, there are several good companies, Tonic, they all supply real, pure, certified, third party certified NMN. So it is getting easier now if you just pay a little attention to the information, but I still get messages of people buying NMN Max, and that was the one that came up back from the lab as fake that I took a year and a half ago, so I would avoid that brand. But, um, there are other brands you should avoid. As a matter of fact, the majority of brands still now sold on Amazon are fake. So find a good certifiable brand and keep in mind the reviews on Amazon, both good and bad, are often also fake. So that's not the best source of supplements. Find a reputable company, talk to some people that have experience with them, and go direct to the company is my advice. Um, you, do Not Age, I mentioned, if you want to take Do Not Age at NMN, I know it's pure. I've taken it to the lab myself. I offer a 10% discount. It's in the description with the link. Now, there are some other health conditions that are going around and have been going around, but even more recently, that I would consider taking NMN at an even younger age than the one I'm going to give you that I would have wished I would have taken it. Um, long COVID, chronic fatigue syndrome, and PTSD. Those are three conditions, and I'm sure there are more. Lyme disease may be one of them. There are several other conditions. If you have a health condition and you believe that NAD boosting can help you, and also consult your doctor, certainly in all of this, consult your doctor because they can do, perform blood work on it, whether or not they support or even know about NMN, uh, it'd be good to have that blood work because they can tell you how you're doing in general uh, from a health perspective six months or 12 months later, you can get checked again and then compare to where you were and get some idea what an NAD booster is actually doing for you. The age I would go back to would be 25, 30, but not for NMN. 
For 25 to 30, I would go back and instruct myself to start living an NED healthy or NED supporting lifestyle. Better exercise, eliminate sugar if at all possible. I certainly was eating too much of that. Processed foods, less alcohol, more consistent exercise. Exercise is important. I exercise a lot more than most people. But what I've found to be primarily important about exercise is doing it consistently, regularly. You may be a very busy person. You're a young guy, you're a young woman. You don't have a lot of time to exercise. Make sure you're getting in that three times a week, 30 minutes, get your heart rate up. It doesn't have to be a lot. It needs to be consistent. Uh, Also eating healthier, more fruits and vegetables. Young people have been doing that in general. In fact, there's a lot of signals, including the viewers of this channel increasing at younger ages, showing that younger people are more inclined to worry about health and are interested in natural ingredients or natural approaches to improve their health. So this is a really good signal and a bad signal for the traditional medicine uh, out there and and drug companies because I think younger people are going to start taking health into their own hands. And that seems to be the trend. And I think self-education with sites like this and other places on the internet where they can get information is helping that along. So younger people are more savvy. They're more informed. It doesn't bode well for the industry that wants to tell you what's wrong with you. People want to know their bodies and make changes themselves. So this is actually a really good sign that people are asking these questions. But I wouldn't go back into my 20s. Probably wouldn't go back into my my early 30s. But by mid to late 30s, somewhere between 35 and 38, that's when my own health issues got to the point where I wish I would have at least started taking some NMN along with performing these NAD supporting activities. I would know probably had I started earlier uh, with reducing bad foods and sugars and eating better, exercising more often, I probably would have known if I would have even needed NMN better. So it is a bit of a scale. You can try these NAD supporting activities first. See if they help you. See if they help your energy. See if they help you cognitively. See if they help what other health issues you might have. But NMN, ultimately, I think I wish I would have started around or by age 38. I think there's enough safety data out there now that I could have started with a low dosage ease my way up over the years, and I probably would have seen improvement with the areas I'm seeing improvement now. Hey, I'm glad I found NMN when I did, and it doesn't mean it's too late at 50 or 60. Certainly not. Many, many people here on this site are are seeing results from NMN that are just astounding. You can read through the comments from the various videos. Every day I get amazing stories from people, from viewers, taking NMN and performing other changes in their life that are giving them great benefits. But today we're mostly focused on that younger audience. And I think you guys can do things that are going to help your NED levels. Hey, get your NED levels checked. See if that's an issue. Um, So do some activities, uh, improve your diet, improve your exercise that support NAD and see if your NAD levels change before you even think about NR, NMN, any kind of NAD boosting molecule or even niacin. Before you think about taking all of these, see if you can get your NAD levels up through natural means. Uh, That would be my advice. Again, by age 38, For me personally, if I could go back in time, I wish I would have started about 20 years ago. That's when the ER visit started for me, by the way, with anxiety attacks brought on by tightness of chest, difficulty breathing, allergic reactions to molds and to um, various other things in the environment. I actually had to move away from the Midwestern state I was living in at the time to go to a warmer climate just to try to avoid some of those triggers, those allergy triggers. But I still dealt with um, ongoing allergies and allergy attacks and inflammation until I started taking NMN. Resveratrol helped me Resveratrol would be the this footnote, the side note, right? You could start resveratrol even earlier because it's been around. There's even more safety data. It has been somewhat disputed or somewhat uh, argued, debated, I guess is the word. However, resveratrol I took for over a year before I ever took NMN, and I was I was already starting to get results with resveratrol. So I do believe personally in resveratrol. I still take it along with quercetin and now fizetin. So 
Those are other things you could look at. Those are considered sirtuin activators. Certainly eating more olive oil, just make sure it's pure olive oil, uh, cold pressed olive oil. Uh, high quality is the is the bottom line with the olive oil. And there are a lot of websites covering the olive oil story out there as well. So there are a number of things you could do to activate your sirtuins. Ultimately, NMN, I don't think it's something you need to start at 25, 35. But if you are dealing with these serious conditions, and if I were at that age, I'd probably consider it then as well. I hope this helps some of you. It's a topic that was fun to look into and think about. And I look forward to your comments about what age you wish you would have started in a See you guys soon. Happy holidays.